gon' play with her, don't be the size Ay, still not understand Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome My name is Emily Bernier, welcome to the family I'm gonna be sharing with you haul I picked up at uh, Dollar Tree I bought some cool stuff, I didn't even know they sold makeup That is pretty cool and it's so affordable I bought some things, I went a little on board I, Oh my god, you guys, hold on found some really cool things at Dollar Tree look at all the flower stuff I got from Dollar Tree that I'm gonna be planting this year like all over the garden um, I have different areas that I want to fill in I bought some Xenia's uh, morning glories I bought some Cosmos cone flowers I found and then I bought some wildflower hum for the hummingbirds. We do have a lot of hummingbirds that come and visit us. So butterflies. Look at all these. Um, I did the pollinators for the wildflowers. So I'm going to mix them all together. And then I did some uh, snapdragons. I'm going to be adding those too. And then this is good for the shade. I do have some shade areas that I do want to fill in for the for the summer and i feel like these have like different ones i mean there's so many different ones on here it says here it has a different amount of seeds so i'm very excited this is for the shade areas that i want to fill in so i'm very excited i have a couple places where i want to add these um so i'm gonna see what else i found and then i went to where was it did i go and i found some really nice ones Oh, the cornflower ones. I'm going to be adding some of those too, if I haven't mentioned that. Um, and I have some uh, panties that I already put last last year in the fall. So I'm very excited how, how they're going to come out. I still have some more um, gardening flowers I want to get for this summer. So I'm very, very excited to see how they're going to come out. So that's one of the things that I bought. Oh my God, I didn't, I really did not know that Dollar Tree had so many different makeup things that I found very affordable. Literally, oh my God, I have so many different ideas that we can do. I've never tried the products from LA Girl, LA Colors. I've only seen like the contour and the concealer ones that are really good. So I bought this makeup foundation in the color Creamy Beige. I bought this one. And then I found this really cute eyeshadow. It's a multi, uh, multi-dimensional for like the summer. Look at the color of this. Don't. Oh my god, that is so cute. So oh my god. And then I bought one inspired of the shirt that I have that I'm wearing. I think I'm gonna do today. And I found this like cool color tone. Look at the gold. You see the gold and the blue flakes on there. I feel like that would look so cute. I mean, I found a blush powder in the color uh, pink blush that I think you guys would like. Look at the colors. I mean, this is a little light for me, but I think we can build it up. I can mix it in with a different color. And then I found a velvet lip mousse. I feel like this could be used like um, a blush, like a cream blush. So I don't know. I'm very excited for that. It says it's a color what color silky okay and then i found some eyeshadow um some eyeshadow liquid eyeshadow it's a metallic glowing eyes this would look so cute for the summer look at that guys oh my god i found some really cool stuff on there it took me a while but i i was able to and then um i found a lipstick creamy finish with aloe aloe uh, vera and vitamin e in the also by the same brand of LA Colors. And then Sway. Look at that. Like a mauve. I really like colors like these. So I'm going to try that today. Oh my god. You guys. I found a brown eyeliner. So we can try that too. It's in the color brown. Yeah. In the color brown. So I'm very excited for that. Oh my god. I found a rapid dry top. Um, top coat. It says quick drying formula protects the nails with perfect sh uh, shine from LA colors. It looks like that. It comes like in a like a bluish 
um, greenish color, like a teal. I found a, a beige um, setting press powder. Look at that. Like that for like bronzing, I feel like. This would be a good color for bronzing. So it says it's in the color beige, so we can use it like a transition color too. So I'm excited for that. <gasps> oh my God, when I seen this, I was like, I have to take it. I found a highlighter. It says instant rating, brighter skin. It's a shimmer finish and it's a shine bright color. Look at that guys. Do you guys see the color on that? Like. The light is, it, it doesn't even do its justice. Look at that. That is so cute. And literally that's all I found. I tried to look for a um, an eyebrow. I didn't find one. I felt like it was too dark, the ones I found. And then I was looking for a primer. I did see some online. I didn't find like a finishing spray. I really wanted to find one. I didn't find one. So maybe I'll go to Walmart. See if I can find something like that or Target. I feel like maybe they would sell stuff like that. So I'm very excited to see what like I look I can re recreate with this. And again, I did not know how inexpensive this was. So we can get started here. I'm going to start with my e.l.f. primer. I really wanted to find a primer so I can show you guys like if it was uh, worth it. I feel like maybe I'll find it like at Target or Walmart. We're just gonna add that to our face. And I already put moisturizer. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So excited to try these products out. I've never, I'm telling you guys, I've never used them. So I, I don't know what to expect. So I'm very excited. And we just put some primer in our face like that. Let's put a little bit on our eyebrows so they don't move. And then we're going to start off with the, hold on one second. Okay, guys. So I have to open all the items, but I'm very excited. So let's start off with our face. I don't know. We shall see. We shall see how it's going to turn out. And I'm just using the e.l.f. Um, powder brush. Like a, it's a kabuki brush that I'm going to be using like that. I wonder if this is a fat matte finish. I don't know. I have no idea. No idea. Oh, it actually matches me. God. Oh, that, that looks good. Huh. I thought it wasn't going to match me. It feels like a... Like a kind of medium... To full coverage foundation it doesn't feel like heavy on the skin like that it feels like lightweight may have to add a little bit more like that. and we're just blending things out like that. This feels really nice on the skin. Yeah. Perfect. And then I couldn't find a concealer, so I'm just going to go in with the one I have from Revolution. Uh, what color is this? This is uh, medium, medium, light. Perfect. Oh, 
funny rock. Oh, I like how this looks. And I haven't put anything else on the eyebrows, only what I put right now. And we're just going to blend this out right here. I just have a couple pieces of the eyes that I can use. There you go. I like the complexion that it's giving. Perfect. I couldn't find a like a loose powder, so I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline one. And I'm not adding too much, just a little bit. a little bit of the setting powder. Just to set our face like that. So our makeup doesn't move. Perfect. And then I'm going to add some bronzer. I have the NYX. Hold on. Nope. We can use the Revolution one. It's the same. And then. We're just going to blend things out like that. And I didn't add too much. I just added a little bit. Perfect. Okay. And then we're going to add a little bit of the blush. I really want to use this. Hmm. 
Let's see what happens. Oh, that's pretty. You guys see that? Oh, I like this for blush. Do you guys see that? Oh, yeah, just a little bit. I really like this color for blush. things out. Perfect. Oh, what do you guys think? I like the color for blush, honestly. And then we're going to add a little bit of this one. This is the blush I feel like it's a little light for, and it comes with a little one is like a little I don't know brush. What do you guys think? I think it's a little bit light for me, but we're gonna make this work. Oh, I like it. Makes me give like a BB pink color, like that. I like it. Yeah, I like it. And then for our eyes, we're going to do this one. I'm going to use this color right here. This one right here. And then this one here. Because they're both matte colors. Do you see that? And, yeah, there we, and it comes with a little... Yeah. We're going to be using this first as a transition for the whole eyelid. Like that. And this just so our makeup doesn't move like that. And I'm not putting too much. Okay, and now we're going to grab this one right here, but I'm going to use a different brush. Oh, by the way, I used the M504 brush. Now we're going to go in with the Morphe um, M441. It's like that. And we're just going to go on the end. I like the color, it's looking up. Like we don't want to make it too dark because I feel like this color that I'm wearing is really light. It's like super nice for like the spring, St. Patrick's. I feel like that would be look, um, that look would be really nice with that. And again, we're just blending it out so it can be smooth. Oh, yeah. Perfect. That's the intensity I want. Do you guys see that? I don't like doing dark makeup looks when I'm going to work because I feel like that's not the occasion for that. I always like to do like light colors, but still that it looks really nice and blendable, you know, and easy and it's fast.
I don't have too much time, but I still want to look very presentable, you know. So these are the, the ones I'd like to use. And then I'm going to be using this color right here. And we're going to go again with a smaller brush. I'm going to be using the ColourPop uh, E23 brush. And we're just going to grab this right here. And I'm just going to add it right here. And I'm just kind of like tapping it right here. And we're just putting it in this area right here. Now let's do the other eye. Do you guys see that? Right there. And I know I have a little bit of fallout here. I'm gonna remove it, okay. Perfect. And now we're gonna grab a, let's see. Okay, we're grabbing a smaller brush for the inner corners, and we're gonna do the E20 right here, right there. Right there. And we're gonna grab this color right here. Do you guys see that? And now I'm grabbing the highlighter that we used earlier. And I'm going to grab a little bit and I'm just going to... Oh my god, look at that. That is so pretty. And this is the color Shine Bright. Shine Bright. Now we're going to go back in with the, let's see, with the 532 brush. And we're just going to add a little bit more of this color right here so it can blend. Perfect, see? And it looks so pretty. It's not too much, but a little bit, you know, but again, because I rem I work in the office, I don't want to put too much, you know, that would be more for like the nighttime. And I'm going to add some mascara. Maybe I can do another eye look where I really intensify this a lot. Like this color right here. I really want to use this color. This, I feel like that would look so pretty, like for the like the spring or like even going out at night i feel like with these two colors right here i think that would look so pretty for the night in the summertime perfect like that and now we're just gonna add and then I found this LA color and the color. What color is this? Sway. I 
I feel like this is a really bright color. But it's okay. We'll work with it. Okay, so now we're just going to add our setting spray. I didn't find a setting spray, so I'm going to see if I can find one again. But I didn't find any. I don't know. Maybe I'm going to check the website. But I'm using the All Night um, Setting Spray Mist from e.l.f. Like that. And we're just going to add a little bit. And there you go, guys. This is the final look. It looks so pretty. Very, like, presentable. Very elegant, too. But then a little bit of a pop of color. I'm telling you, like, this would look so pretty, like, for St. Patrick's or even, like, Right now that it's starting to get spring, like, you know, it's starting to get nice outside. And you see, we didn't add too much. I feel like we just added a little bit, but not too much. Remember, because, like, in the work environment that I do, I don't want to do too, too much. We're like, whoa, like, you know. But I still want to look very nice and presentable. So I feel like this would be a great makeup look that you can recreate again. These are products that they sold that, that I got from Dollar Tree. Oh my god, you guys. Like, look at that. Like, do you guys see those colors? Like, they're so pretty. And then the highlight. Oh my god. I know I dropped it. I'm sorry, guys. But um, but the colors are so pretty. I have to go again and see if I can find some other eyeshadows like these. I think they have some more like different colors. I'm gonna go again and see if I can find some other um eyeshadow looks. I'm going to try and see if I can find a, um, if I can find some different eyebrow colors. Because when I went, I, they had really dark ones. And my eyebrows are not too dark. Um, I don't like them to look, like, really dark. So I like them to look more on the natural side. So I'm going to check again when I go next time. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Oh, my God. If you guys liked it, share it with your friends, your family. I mean, you can, again, stay in the comments below. Let me know what you guys want to see next. I'm so excited. I'm going to be showing other products that, um, different eye looks. I really want to recreate this color right here and this one right here. Even this one, too, would look so pretty right now for the summer. I feel like that would look so pretty. And, again, they're so expensive. You guys have to go and check it out. Oh, my God. I was, like, shocked. I didn't even know they had makeup. So, when I seen the makeup, I was like, oh. They sell makeup. I mean, I go sometimes, but not all the time. But for, like, cleaning products, you know, for the house. Um, because they had some really nice stuff that from the house. I can even do a video for that, like, what I do for cleaning. I can show you guys. Um, so let me know in the comments below if you would like to see that next. But, oh, my God, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching the video. And until the next time. Bye, guys.